Hey y'all, check this out. How to identify a great blue heron. Did you see him whenever I just panned across there? Well, here's a trick to identifying a great blue heron. You ready? So inside of some of these marsh type habitats where the littoral shelves are all set up, a great blue heron is an ambush type of a hunter. So he might be hiding in there. If we scan across, I'm gonna zoom in for you. There you go. It's your great blue heron. In North America, that's the largest heron that we have. The male and female are very similar. Very tall, respectfully, to the top of the head if they were standing next to you. They might be about three foot. That is an adult. And right now, it is sitting inside this vegetation. It's an ambush hunter. It's stalking its prey. It could be a fish. It could be a snail. Maybe a mollusk. Who knows what else? Whatever it could be, it'd be yummy to him. And that's what you're looking for. One thing that's really neat is as we identify these birds that are down in the marsh habitats or walking the edge of the lakes or walking the edge of a river and seek a food, where do you think that they might nest? Not here. Nope. Where they would actually nest is right up here in that pine tree overhanging the water. And they could be very high. They could be down here on some lower branches. What they like to do is to be able to nest at a rookery, which is more common, but a solitary type of a pine tree or other that would be overhanging water. So that way they would be able to defecate over water to reduce their scent, keeping predators away. Absolutely a beautiful bird. But that's your great blue heron. Other birds that we hear in the distance right now are boat tail grackles. There's been some common grackles, red-winged blackbirds, and maybe here in a minute, I hear a fish crow, but here in a minute we may also get a little flock of the Manday parrots pass by, or in this particular region they may be the monk parakeets, or Quakers depending upon where you're from, but we'll see if they'll pass by again as we sit here and watch this great blue heron, maybe if it will stalk something for us while we're waiting. They are so very patient, unlike most of us as human beings. Across the lake over there, sitting on the lake bank, is an anhinga. It's just come up out of the water from foraging. But, like I said, this is a fantastic location. Look at all the beautiful aquatic preserve area here. Where so much food is available for those birds. Y'all take care.